Finstar is the old editing dad of YouTube, and the rumor says that he's turning 38. But don't mind that. Finstar channel is filled with great tutorials and just the best humor, and I've always taken a lot of inspiration from him. He has a lot of cool paid presets that you should take a look at, but in today's video, I will show you how you can do his editing style for free. We will cover how you can create your own avatar and learn how to do different sliding animations, how to make your character float and wobble, and even transition from one avatar to another seamlessly. We will also cover how you can create this awesome glowing Finster inspired text. All right, so the first thing that we're going to be doing is creating an avatar. So just search man in suit PNG and then just copy that and bring that into your Photoshop. Use the quick action, remove a background, which is so simple, and then drag in your logo. If you don't already have a circular logo, don't worry. I will show you how you can turn a square into a circle. So what you want to do is just upgrading um, to a smart, smart object and then use this tool to drag a circle. Then press on this little photo thing down here. And just like that, you have a circular uh, object out of a square. Once you're happy with that, you can just go and press Control uh, E. You just want to highlight all of your layers and then press Control E, which will then just make it one mask. Then you can go into the camera roll filter and be changing sort of the colors and uh, the effects and stuff like that. So you can just follow me and do whatever I'm doing. But the most important thing is just bringing up the contrast, add a bit of um, color, and then just adding some texture and some clarity. And if you like it to be sort of like cartoony, you can also be adding some sharpening, uh, which is something that I really do to stand out. And I think that it's a great way to just pop uh, your character even more. So just uh, add sharpening to about 70 and then the noise reduction to 70 or 60. But as you guys can see, this really just smooths out all of the um, all of the picture. All right, so the next thing is the sliding animations. We have two ways to do this. And the easy one is just downloading Tech Vampus' free presets. And there are some uh, downsides to this and that is that it's not very customizable and it looks pretty plain. And let me guys show you how it looks. So just drag and drop on top of your avatar. So I'm just going to be choosing this one. And if you guys can see now, it sort of comes up pretty fast and it's pretty standard, but this is, you know, a great preset pack if you're just starting out and you just want something simple uh, to be adding to your character. But if you want to do it the hard way, I would really suggest you by going and adding the transform and then turning off the use composition and putting the shutter angle to 180. Then you want to be just dragging your character out of frame and then creating a position keyframe and then dragging him into frame with another keyframe. As you guys can see, it's pretty plain, but to be able to make this uh, look like Finstar, we are going to be taking both of them uh, on easy in. And then you want to just press this drop down to the left of the position and play with the speed graph. And the speed graph is sort of uh, what decides how smooth it will going to be when it will sort of speed up and speed out. Um, but as you guys can see, when it's in the middle, it goes really fast in the middle. Um, but if you want it to go faster in the start, you can just drag the speed graph to the start, uh, to the left here. And then it comes fast in and then evens out. So it's really just about where you want it to come in and how smooth you want it to be. But if you guys see now I'm dragging it to the right and now it comes slowly in but then speeds up at the end. And this is really the trick to mastering smooth and nice transitions that is just playing around with the speed graph. Then you can also save the preset and use it whenever you want and just drag it and drop it. That is really the key to editing like Finsar, just having lots of good presets. Now, by turning the shutter angle up to 360, you can get a bit more motion blur if you want that. And for today's sponsor, let me guys tell you about a wonderful tool that is called Wondershare Uniconverter. I just want to give a huge shout out to them because they have sponsored my video and I really appreciate them. And let me tell you, this tool is an absolutely game changer for anyone looking to quickly and easily convert or compress their files. Whether you need to change file format or make those large files more manageable, Uniconverter has you covered. But look, 
that's just scratching the surface. Uni Uniconverter also features cutting edge AI technology to enhance your videos like never before. Look, it can auto crop your videos and turn them into short format in seconds. It's perfect for TikTok and Instagram Reels. Plus, it offers a variety of text to speech voices that are trending on TikTok. And that is going to help you go viral. If you're, an, if you're an editor looking to streamline your workflow, Wondershare Uniconverter is your go-to tool. It handles everything from generating video ideas to editing them together seamlessly. So why wait? Let Wondershare Uniconverter help you elevate your content creation game. So go and check the link in the description to learn more. And I wanna get back to this video now, but I just really need you guys to check it out because this is a tool that I've used greatly and it's just a really nice hack. So thank you so much Wondershare Uniconverter and let's get back to this video. Right, the smooth wobble. I've made a full video about this and there's a ton of different preset packs, but I'm going to be choosing the best one. And that is the Essential Motion 3.0. Link is in the description. Go download it and go and find the effect number 36 named the camera wiggle. Drag that on top of your avatar or a picture and just like that you have a very nice and smooth camera wobble. I'm not going to be spending any more time but you can go and check this video out if you want but it's so nice. And now for the avatar transition right you want it to transition from one avatar to another seamlessly it looks nice. So as you guys can see here we have two different avatars. I'm taking one of these over the other and then turning the opacity down and then just making sure that both of their heads goes together. So I just want my J and my E to just fit perfectly. And what this is, if we're taking if we're talking like specific, this is a match cut and uh, when you when we're talking about editing. And that is just making sure that it just fits. So when I turn the opacity upwards here, you can see that it fits. But it's not smooth. So we need to add an adjustment layer because we're going to be adding some sort of blur. Then I'm just cutting up the adjustment layer as you guys can see. And then I'm just going to be placing it. I, I want it to be about two frames to the right and two frames to the left. So it sort of is even out. Then I'm going to be adding the blur called the directional blur. And this is really up to you, but I like to go with 10 on the blur length. And then I'm just going to be dragging di the direction to something that looks pretty nice. And this will really just uh, make this sort of transition a lot better. It's sort of like a small shake almost. But then I also want to add the, uh, um, the film dissolve. Uh, just to even it more out. So I'm just dragging it like this. Uh, so you get that little shake, but you also get a smooth transition. Let me see how this looks right now. Yeah, this looks really, really nice. And when it's speed up, you know, it's a lot faster, but just make sure the adjustment layer and the film dissolve is the same length. So I'm really happy with the results here. And now we are actually going to be moving on. We're going to be doing the famous glow that Finsar uses a lot on his recent videos uh, because he's, he really likes this 3D look I have uh, seen. So how to do this? Well, you need a text layer. So let me just show you what I do. If we go into the uh, graphics here, we can see that the font is Rubik. He has on all caps and the color. Let me show you guys it. Here are the color code. He's actually using the fill and the stroke with the same color. And then here are the shadow settings. He has it on uh, seven and then on 40. Then if we go to the glow settings, we can see how much glow he has. He has the Luma um, to 0.40, the glow radius to 212, and then the glow saturation to 5.60. And then he has the use tint color on with this sort of white color. Look. I hope you have enjoyed this video and thank you so much to my sponsor of this video. If you want more videos like this, then like and subscribe and join my Discord and have a great rest of your day. Peace.